two dog hugs. We have with us Robbie today. Hi, Robbie. And our guest. Hi, how are you? Andy and Coda. Yeah. Great to see you guys. We're going to see uh, Sue and Coda in a little bit and have some great performance. Um, and uh, actually, while we're at it, we're, uh, Coda is a rescue dog uh, from Snooty Giggles Rescue outside of Nashville. <laughs> Tennessee. So our shelter shout out of the day is Snooty Gig. All right, we will uh, we will see you in a little bit, Suhei. All right. Well, good morning, Robbie. It's How morning. are you? Um, you know, it's so interesting. This weekend, I had so many plans. And you know what got in the way? What? Pointing. I spent so many hours cleaning. I was going to get some editing done, you know, real <laughs> editing. I was going to show the folks, you know, we we did all those perch tricks last week. Oh yeah. And I was going to edit that together, and um, you know, it's going to happen when it's going to happen. Probably this coming weekend, unless there's <laughs> more editing. Yeah. How are you guys doing over there? You know, we're not doing too badly. It was a great weekend. It was good weather. Wow, that's great. Sunshine. It rained a little bit, but we saw crocuses coming up out of the ground. So oh, that's the that's, sign of spring around here. <laughs> that sounds beautiful in upstate New York here. It All really right. is. Well, we're going to do a uh, dog trick today. And um, let's see. Here we go. I'm going to show you guys, you know, I've talked about getting on a platform and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And the cool thing about platforms is that they're a great way to help your dog uh, focus. There are platforms all over the studio right now. And uh, while you, we use these, you know, wonderful, fancy climb platforms from Blue Nine, you know, you can use whatever you have. You know, if you have a small dog, um, it might be something, you know, real, you know, real small, you know, or bigger. A phone book if we had them anymore. What, what was that, Robbie? A phone book if we had them oh, anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I still know where phone books are. So, uh, this is a platform, you know, it's, it's a raised area where a, a dog learns uh, to uh, focus up. And one of the ways in which you can use a platform is to teach a dog to uh, stay, stay put when it's time to oh. uh, answer the doorbell. So um, I've taught Spider that when the doorbell rings, well, actually, I don't have a doorbell. When the doorbell knocks, <laughs> get on the uh, platform uh, near the uh, front door. And, oh, wow. Yeah. So, uh, so that's one great thing. Uh, training a dog to get on the platform speeds up training because it hmm. engages the dog's body and brain together. And that's why it speeds up training, it engages his body and his mind trying to figure out. Oh, so, wow. Although Spider can do you know, all these platform tricks, you know, you certainly don't start this way. Wait there, Spider. Okay, come across your boy. You can start with a very low platform. Okay, go back over there. Wait. Good boy. So here it is, just right on the floor. Oh. And then you put, if your dog is treat motivated, you can put some treats, we call those lures, directly onto the platform until he really wants to be on it. And he, he realizes that that's a rewarding place for him to be, okay? So now I'm going to lure him with what we call an air cookie. I'm pretending that I have a cookie in my hand. <laughs> up onto the platform, and it's spider so, so, so smart. He already knows the treat is coming from the other hand. And I <laughs> to get rid of the treats altogether. Wait. And, and I just... Use that as my hand signal. Come here. And come up. Good job, buddy. Now, it gets a little bit more complicated when, wait, spider, come here. Come around. 
the boy a go. I send him to the platform. So he's going away from me. Your dog is going away from you. So that's, that's more and more challenging. You see spiders very motivated to get on these platforms. So you start again with this platform on the floor. Now, once you've done that, you can now raise the platform. You don't necessarily have to go this high right now, but maybe a little bit higher, and eventually say this high. And you start over again. Start with luring all the way up. Good job, spider. And then eventually, I'm now I'm using an air cookie. <laughs> and rewarding with the other hand. And now again, speeding up, I have no treats, and this air cookie becomes a hand signal. Hmm. Right? Now, to start this sending process, sending your dog away from you, you start here very close, and you notice I'm backing up right at the end. So that begins to increase the distance. So that's kind of a, a pro tip for you guys. And now backing away farther and farther. Now there are all kinds of tricks you can do. Spider's doing one right now. So I'll make 22 platforms and he'll even back up onto this platform. Once he's there, he can you know do a few tricks and you can combine those. Eventually up to a high platform. Things like jumping between platforms. Very good. So that's the basis of teaching a platform. All right, so now we're sitting on this one over here, and we, when we turn back around into the laundry room, you can see that we've got some other platforms over here, and Spider knows his spot right on this one right there. So hope you guys enjoy that one. <laughs> Yeah. So, Larry, why do you do an air cookie? Is it so he doesn't get constant treats or, oh, well, I guess why? And I'm, I'm really glad you asked that, Robbie. Yes, we eventually okay. want to phase out the treats oh. and, so, um, uh, and just make it so that it becomes a hand signal. And okay. the air cookie is the bridge. It's the next okay. step to phasing out those treats. So really, really glad you enjoyed that. And if you've got any questions, please put them in the chat. We're happy to answer them. So uh, here, Rob, I'm going to bring you. Later, hugging. <laughs> there we are. Yeah. Hi, Yolanda. Uh, yeah, spider. Uh, good activity there. That's, that's a lot of fun. Thank you. So how else is everybody doing here? Who else is on? Who else is on with us today? Please. I think so uh, far, we just have Yolanda. I don't really yeah. see much in the chat. Right. I think it's right. good weather, and everybody's people outside. People are liking it and watching it. Hey, we yep. want to know where are you co coming in from? Oh yeah. yeah, that's always interesting. Yeah. To find out where everybody is. Great. Well, um, we had the uh, supermodel of the week uh, contest. Uh, as we do every week. And today we have a big winner to announce. Actually, first we'll go with the finalists. The, here are our finalists. Drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. <laughs> These are our finalists. Oh, Spider's getting right in there and he's stepping all over my keyboard. Oh, no. <laughs> and Zeke. And Billy Vanilla Rocky, congratulations on all of our finalists. Look at and, the ears on Rocky. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, great ears. Yeah. So our big winner is today, it's Murphy. Congratulations, Aww. Murphy. You and your And he's even dressed to be a winner. <laughs> yeah. So, Robbie, how do folks uh, enter the Supermodel of the Week contest? So what we do is we do dogs of the day. So you s put your picture of your dog with his or her name on our Facebook page. We go through, put everybody that has entered daily 
to become a dog of the day. And then at the end of the week, we tally up all of the likes, shares, comments, and the dog with the highest numbers is a supermodel finalist. And then the number one with the highest numbers becomes our winner. That's fantastic. So every day we feature these amazing dogs. Anybody could send their dog in. We'd love to have everybody send their dogs in. That would be fantastic. Well, that is really great. And we just enjoy your your guys' comments so much. They're so and cute. Yolanda, you're from Mishwakan. I was uh, not far from Michoacan, uh, just a little bit more than a month ago in Mexico City. Um, yeah, that was a great experience there at a uh, fantastic uh, conference um, that I got to have the honor of being a keynote speaker of. And we got Tanya who just joined us. So hi, Tanya. Oh, hi, Tanya. Yeah. <laughs> Love spider. Yeah, we appreciate you guys so much. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. Um, all right, well, let's bring in our special guest. Now, uh, you've heard the, you've seen them on the show before, Chris and Suhe Parandi. Uh, they are. I'm even wearing their shirt today. They're America's <laughs> favorite stunt dog performers. And usually at this time of year, they're on the road performing, uh, but obviously they're they're home right now. So let's go ahead and bring in yeah. who we got here. Look at that mug. Who <laughs> is that? <laughs> Hi, Sue. Hi there, Coda. Hi, guys. How Hi there. Looks wow. Like we get a little rain down on us here. In ah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it is going to rain. We'll Sprinkling a yeah. Uh, it's all right. Yeah. Well, so this is Coda, our golden doodle. He was adopted from Snooty Giggles Rescue Group out in Tennessee when he was just a little over a year old. He wants to tell you all about it. Uh, yeah, I see old. that. He just yeah. turned six years old, and he's one of our big trick dogs in the show. He's also a high jumping dog. And today, I was thinking about showing you guys, let me do the talking. I was thinking about showing you guys how I can get Kodak to do some hula hoop tricks. Yeah, that would and be great. Of course, you have to find out what motivates your dogs, whether it be a certain toy or a certain food or treat. Koda loves his favorite Lucy pet hip to be square treats. These are pretty awesome because these are actually square treats and I can easily break them break them up into little pieces in my training sessions. All right, so I'm gonna first teach you how to get Koda going through a hula hoop. So we're gonna grab this one right here. Koda, come here. So first you wanna get your dog acclimated with the hula hoop. So I'm just gonna have it on the ground. I'm just gonna have him walk over it and reward him for that. Just like that. Once he gets used to just kind of feeling that hula hoop on the ground, I can start picking it up a little bit. Just like that. Sit. Good job. Then I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to leave it on the ground, but I'm going to try to get him to go through that hula hoop. Just like that. And reward. Good job, Koda. Now, once they're used to doing that, then we're gonna start picking up that hula hoop a little bit off the ground. And at first it can just be a, a couple of inches. Now, Koda already knows how to hoop, so he's gonna jump through it already once I pick it up. Your dog might just walk over it at first, and that's okay. Yeah, good job, Koda. Now, once he's used to that, you're just gonna pick it up, up off the ground a little bit more and more each time to get your dog to hopefully jump through it. See, now we got a little jump from Coda. Come here, sit, and then go a little higher. Come here, Coda, sit. There you go, now we got a nice job. Now eventually your dog's gonna do that the more you practice. We get another nice jump, there we go. Now once your dog knows how to jump through that hula hoop, then you can do all kind of fun tricks. Come here, come back. Stay. Yeah. Do it all the 
That is fantastic, Suhei. How high can uh, Coda jump? What's that? How high can Coda jump? Because well, I've seen him jump pretty high in your show. Yeah, um, he can jump. He's up to about 58 <laughs> inches in the air. Wow. He did 60. Wow, that's taller than some of the kids. That's his record. Yes. He doesn't like to jump. Add a boy. Yeah. And uh, oh, look at that. Yeah. Very good. Footsie. Well, he's to show us right that now on next week, maybe. That'll be great. Yeah. Yeah. We know that Coda is one of your many dogs. Um, it sounds like that's Chris holding the camera there. And uh, how many dogs do you guys have? Say that again, how many Ray? dogs? How many you? dogs do we have? We have 13 dogs right now. 13 dogs. That's a baker's dozen. Good lucky number. Yes. So that's our biggest one at 62 pounds. Yes. Our smallest dog is only six pounds. He's a little too Wow. Little yes. Well, we look forward to meeting all of the dogs on the yep. show. Yeah. And I'd like uh, to know if any of the viewers would like to meet a specific dog next week. Of all oh, what a great idea. Yeah. Or a specific breed or, I don't know, or maybe the, is there a specific trick that they'd like to see too? Because, I mean, we have a lot of different things we can teach our dogs and show how we teach our dogs yeah. and we you know, can help them at home. Yeah. That while, is while you're great. at home, just chill. Yeah. Might so be fun there, to teach them something new. Yes. Great, great comment. If, if there are tricks that you guys would like to learn, uh, we'd love to be able to show them to you because we'll check in weekly with Suhei and Chris and uh, at least one of their dogs every week. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Suhei and Koda and Chris, who's on the camera. And we wish you guys, hey, we wish you guys a, a, a great week and uh, we'll see you soon. Okay. Bye. Oh, wait a minute. I got to ask you one more question. I forgot a big question. Uh, we love to do blessings and gratitude on this show. Is there somebody in your life or in the world you want to give blessings or gratitude today? You know what? I think this week, maybe to all my friends and family, I just want to you know, send them blessings. And and uh, I'm grateful to all of them, you know, for checking in. We have to, at times like this, we have to check in on each other, you know, make sure that everybody's okay. And if somebody needs anything, maybe we can help them out with yeah. you know, Amen. Thank you so much, Suhei. That was that was a great sentiment. Okay, we'll see you next week, you guys. Have a good right, week. Bye. Have a safe week. Bless you. All right. Oh, that was sweet. Yeah. That was well, you know, since we've got the doodle in the house, I love saying doodles do tricks. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe sometime we'll have to have that uh, uh, that doodle on this show. <laughs> Or I think not. Murray's only trick is laying on the back of the couch and barking. So I don't know if that's a trick we want to see. <laughs> the couch. <laughs> oh, that's true. That is his platform. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Carol, appreciate the dog paws there. That's really oh, nice. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. And uh, we got a nice hi from Gunner. Where are you? Where is Gunner? Where are you guys coming in from? Yeah, it is so great to see you guys. Thank you so much for uh, joining the show and your and your comments and everything. So and share photos of your dog so they could be a dog of the day or the supermodel of the week. Awesome. Yeah. So, um, Robbie, who who are you giving uh, gratitude today? Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah. Well, you know, we just had. Um, our niece, J 
just had another baby. So blessings to the doctors and to them home with their brand new baby daughter. So they've yeah. got two little girls now. So blessings to all the medical professionals who oh. helped her. And there's a new baby in the family. So yeah. very exciting. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> um, I want to give uh, special blessings today to um, my public speaking colleague, uh, Dan Adams, in uh, right in Kirkland, Washington, which is a real hot spot. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, um, every Monday morning, we have a mastermind with my heroic public speaking colleagues. And mm -hmm. it's a way for us to start the week and learn from each other and see how, you know, we're each adjusting uh, to doing that. And uh, as you know, you'll see folks uh, from my public speaking community on this show from time to time. Yep. So, and, and most of all, we want to give a big thanks to uh, each of you for, for showing up and a big gratitude and blessing to each of you. Um, hey, Robbie, look who is sending in a comment. I know, I see Gerilyn with all the hearts and she is our guest tomorrow. Yeah, tough. She will be having her um, brand new puppy with her. His name is Senna. He's a border collie and she's teaching him all kinds of amazing tricks. And she is also doing a lot of giveaways tomorrow because it's Gerilyn's birthday. But she has, she is giving away donations from various pet food companies that she works with. Fantastic. So it's her birthday, but she's giving the gifts. Well, thank you in an early happy <laughs> to Gerald who we also call G Dog. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Well, you are too, Geraldine. You are too, G Dog. All right, giving you guys a really, really big hug and gratitude. Thank oh, you so much cat for food too, I guess. Cat food. Oh, cat food too. Yep. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yes. Woo. <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> And Robbie will, uh, and whoever else joins us, uh, <laughs> see you guys tomorrow. So um, thank you so much uh, for joining us today. And uh, we look forward to sharing another hug with you guys on Dog Hugs. Bye. Bye Day. Blessings to you all. Oh.